Steph, we want to know, what do we wear for the weekend? What to wear? Well, we have best-selling author and style expert Janae Luciani joining us this morning. And Fish was making fun of this outfit. But first of all, it's yes. Fleet Week, and nauticals are back. I've seen a lot of stripes. Janae, I'm not sure about the horizontal stripe thing. I feel Actually, like you have to be itty-bitty to wear. A lot of body types can do the horizontal stripes as long okay. as you keep the stripes on a small scale. So remember proportions. Okay. And yes, this nautical trend isn't sailing away anytime soon. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, and this is great. This look is from Land's End, and okay. you can do it in an accessory if you want. You don't have to pair it all together. Lots of different colors in the nautical stripes. Okay. Just a really fun trend. You know, they always do the classics right, so right. this is kind of like a classic, classic. now. I exactly. just like the thin stripes. That was a good hint because I, the stripes for me, I try <laughs> exactly. to stay away. Yes. Let's move along to this, which is very summer, mm -hmm. and I actually really love this dress. As you know, tangerine tango, we've heard this forever now. Tangerine tango is the color of the year, so okay. it's all about the oranges for spring and summer. Where do they come up with these names? I mean, can it just <laughs> be tangerine? Pantone, they're the color forecasting service, and they said, you know, tangerine tango is it. So all of a sudden, we see it in dresses from David's Bridal, accessories from the Limited. Okay. And it's a really fun way for a pop of color. If you don't want to do it all together, you can add this over, like, you know, a humdrum sort of white dress or something boring and really spruce it up. Wait, what's the service with the names? Because that's going to be a whole other segment. I've never heard of that. <laughs> what was it again? Pantone. I've never even heard of that. They, they're the ones that give the names. They huh? tell you what's in, the colors really? that are in for the season. Okay, designers I've, follow that. I've seen this everywhere. Yes. I don't know about the neon. I don't think I can pull it off. It's all about the neon. Look, you don't have to do it from head to toe. This is a really fun way to do the color blocking trend. Okay. Um, so if you're daring, you know, do it this way. You can do just a pop of neon somewhere just for fun. This is five dollars from H and M, so Love. you can't go wrong. This top is twenty dollars from Marshalls. Okay. So like TJ Maxx and Marshalls are great Love. places to get the trends that you don't want to spend a lot of money so like 70% off get it then and then if it goes out of style you don't care because the season's over and that's that and apparently you're working out in neon too uh, yeah I'm just hoping that the 80s <laughs> hairstyles don't come back that's all I'm hoping for it just stays on the we'll body stay with the neon okay. and this is really fun this is the bandini from barely there it's two for $30 and they're meant to be layered okay and you can actually switch the straps you can put one down have one up let have it peeking out under a tank top okay. so again this is like a really fun way to play on the neon trend, okay. even if you're at the gym, whether you're running Sounds errands, good. whatever you're doing. All right, John A. will be back talking sunglasses a little bit later. And Fish and I are going to work out later. Fish, you think you're wearing neon? I will not be wearing neon. No, I did go shirtless last time we worked out, Steph. Whoa! We'll, we'll talk about that. So, Steph, I understand you've got some tips on some cool shades. I think these are pretty cool. <laughs> Those shades are pretty cool, Maria. Nice. You're styling and profiling, yo. Uh, Janae Luciani is joining us yet again. We talked fashion <laughs> last hour. Now we're all huddled under an umbrella. We're sitting in the heart of weather irony this morning. Not so summer like in New York City, but we'll need those shades no. later today. Hey, I saw a girl just walking by and she had shades on, so you do need them even Good. when it's cloudy. Well, here in New York, you know, we wear the sunglasses like 24-7, even though it's not sunny just outside. Cool. So. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some right. of the cooler sunglasses. Yes. I, of course, I was like, oh, I like these. Yes. Let them be the most expensive, right? These are a splurge. It's all about the aviators. You know, they've been around a few seasons, but this year they get super sized. Yeah. So these, these are the oversized aviators Damn. from Rhode Island Optics. Um, they're Chanel, $380. Yes, they look We're so fab on you. Yeah. No, I've got a question. I don't know if they're um, $50 fab. This always uh, makes me feel awkward in the store. Sometimes I'll pick up a pair of sunglasses and I don't know uh -huh. if they're for a man or a woman. Is there a definitive line? Well, we're actually going to get to a pair. There's a pair on this table that are unisex. So there are some styles now that we're getting okay. for either one. So that's what's great. Now, these are super special. Okay. What so is going on with these, like, these <laughs> robo uh, They are like, like the robo -y. Terminator glasses. These yeah. are pivot head, and they're actually, they provide full UV protection, but they have a hidden video camera and 8 megapixel still camera what? in the frame, so you can wear them on the beach, chasing around your kids, and snap little pictures no, of them at the same time. I gotta say, it's a little <laughs> bit cool. creepy, because if you're on the beach and you're snapping <laughs> pictures with your sunglasses, Good point. what are you looking at exactly? Why do you go there? I'm Why just do you, saying. Let's I'm stick saying. to the fun function okay. functionality. Okay, so again, keeping with the theme of functional sunglasses, we have our sporting Garrett glasses. Someone you fish sent your whole umbrella. Something. I'm trying to be chivalrous Men here. Men love yeah. the Oakley right so these are Oakley and oh, for like extreme you. sports right. you can switch out the lenses keeping with the same theme we have an Under Armour pair here that um, are actually for golfers now I don't purport oh, to be a expert of golfer you know of golfing yeah. however I'm told that when you're putting you don't want to move your head you don't want to lift up your head so you've got to have Natalie that Natalie right? told us that the other day there do you. not move your head right so these from Under Armour have that wraparound protection and okay. the enhanced vision so you can look both ways without moving your head. All right head, Janae we right? literally have 30 right? seconds so oh, let's knock okay. these puppies out. So these are great Robert Verity for 
for HSN. You know, he's a celebrity stylist. They're like 20 bucks a pair. Again, like that, that mod, retro, 80s trend. Comes in tons of different colors. So fun. Yep, I like um, these. I'm on for HSN. Again, like a celebrity inspired And these line. are the unisex ones, yeah? The, no, these are actually I don't know for, about for that. girls. <laughs> the, actually, oh, these are the unisex, the Wayfarers, okay? Remember, okay. like, Tom Cruise wore them. The kids. Kitty my daughter loves Melissa and Doug. And they flip um, out. These are oh, those are my favorite. Yes, Wayfair.com. Very cute. So cute. The lenses Very pop cute. up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jenna. We yes. certainly appreciate it.